At this time, we have the honor of recognizing four inspiring women leaders who are strengthening and building our communities, serving as role models for girls and embodying what it means to be a girl, go-getter, innovator, risk taker, and leader. Join me in welcoming our first honoree, our go-getter, Camila Williams Kemp. Camila is a vice president of Northwestern Mutual and one of the 2019 most powerful women in business. The second time she's been recognized on this list by black enterprises of most influential African-American executives in corporate America. A true go-getter, she expresses vision, ambition, and persistence through challenges. Thank you, Camila, and congratulations. Thank you so much. It yeah. really is an honor. Awesome. Well, go-getter you are indeed. What does that mean to you, to be a go-getter? For me, it's really all about determination and really staying focused on your vision and your goals. Um, I see so many women that are on the sidelines despite having so much to offer. And I recognize there are all sorts of challenges that can get in the way, but really having a sound uh, support system and a clear vision for yourself can really help you through that. And what does it mean to you to be a Girl, Girl Scout and why is it important for Girl Scouts to be go-getters? Well, I just think about the long track record of success for the Girl Scouts organization. And sometimes I think we talk about being in unprecedented times right now and all the work that's done with our youth to really give them a foundation, no matter what the future holds, will really enable them to be able to achieve their goals and continue to persevere in spite all sorts of challenges. Awesome, well, congratulations again and thank you so much. Great, thank you. Now I'm very excited to welcome our second honoree, our innovator, Dr. Awi Tomita Mitchell, a professor at the Medical College of Wisconsin Department of Surgery and Biomedical Engineering and 2018 Wisconsin Inno's inaugural 50 on Fire that showcases some of the biggest movers and shakers in Wisconsin tech. Dr. Mitchell is the co-founder and chief scientific officer at Thai Diagnostics, where she works to change the way patients receive heart transplants. Her startup company provides DNA-based diagnostic testing to monitor the health of organs that have been transplanted. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you so much. Yes. Such an honor to be here. Oh, good. Well, we are thankful to have you here and to have you be an example of being an innovator. What does it mean to you to be an innovator? Um, I think uh, an innovator is someone who embraces uh, learning new things and applying what they've learned in creative new ways in order to solve problems. Um, an innovator isn't necessarily someone who is always uh, making uh, new devices like uh, Doc from Back to the Future. You can innovate in many ways, uh, for instance, through art or music, uh, in writing, uh, teaching, um, in how one leads. Um, I think an innovator is someone who adapts to a challenge and uh, is able to build creatively upon what they've learned. Awesome. And why would you say that Girl Scouting is important for girls today? Uh, I, I think Girl Scouts is uh, really important because um, it's just a, a, an incredible opportunity for these uh, special uh, groups of uh, amazing young women uh, to experience uh, interactions with uh, uh, wonderful leaders, uh, their troop leaders, leaders in the community. Um, it uh, just opens a world of opportunities uh, for these girls to uh, go through uh, uh, these various activities um, in order to uh, earn their badges um, through um, meaningful uh, experiences. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Mitchell. Thank you. It's time to welcome our third honoree, our risk taker. In 2013, Elizabeth Reese is the founder of Chasing Paper, a stylish, innovative wallpaper company, which got its start by creating high quality, removable wallpaper. 
as a third generation in her family's printing company, she grew up learning the ins and outs of ink, paper, and patterns. With the belief that printing is not only a family tradition, but also a craft, Elizabeth carved out her own path in paper by developing a line of design conscious wallpaper. So cool, welcome and congratulations. Thank you, I'm so thrilled to be here. Yeah, so what does it mean to you to be a risk taker? You know, I think really for me, it's a lot about bravery and it's a lot about being self-assured. There are so many people out there that are going to tell you that your ideas are crazy or nuts or not obtainable. Um, so it's just really important to believe in yourself um, and, you know, continue to go after that and be persistent. And why do you think it's important for Girl Scouts to embrace this concept of being a risk taker? You know, I think especially for the age that Girl Scouts are at, um, a lot of times I think there's a focus on sort of fitting in or um, being like everyone else. And being a risk taker definitely means sort of stepping outside of that, um, going for something or going down a path that might not be that that well tread. And, um, you know, I think that that's um, such a, an incredible, um, you know, just uh, trait for girls to have nowadays. Awesome. Well, thank you so much and congratulations, Elizabeth. Thank you. Last but not least, let's welcome our fourth honoree, our leader, Gail Hansen, retired chief financial officer for Aurora Healthcare Inc. and current independent board member, Gail embodied empathy and she proved she can identify the strengths and empower others. Earlier as deputy executive director for the state of Wisconsin investment board and as senior vice president, treasurer and chief financial officer for Cobalt Corporation, she demonstrated that she always knows how to get the job done and that she is committed to making the world a better place. Welcome and thank you, Gail. Thank you. Congratulations. We are very grateful to have you as an example of a leader. In your opinion, what does it mean to be a leader? I look at leader being a leader is exercising leadership and I think we all have opportunities to do that whether that's at work at school in our families or in our communities awesome also to be a leader really requires a commitment and follow-through um, because when we when we agree to be a leader that's that's the assumption and a leader is often defined by the people who follow you and I think it's important that a leader understands uh, their role as well as uh, looks to get the best out of the people that are following them to achieve a common goal. And I think that leadership is learned. It's not, we, we're not born to be leaders, but we learn that through accepting responsibility and being committed to it. Uh, and lastly, I think leadership sometimes uh, is a test of our character. We might need to make decisions that aren't popular, um, but we do what's right, whether or not other people always agree, and then wait to see the results. And what is the best advice you can give girls to achieve their goals as, as you have? Well, I think it's first is to, to, to know and appreciate yourself, uh, to set goals that are suitable for yourself, not goals that somebody else would have for you, and then uh, work single-mindedly to achieve those goals. And I think as you work to achieve those goals, celebrate the, celebrate the achievements, uh, learn from your setbacks, and enjoy the ride. And I would say that in part of enjoying the ride is that others will, uh, will participate with you in that ride. And it really is satisfying to, to be sure that you value everybody that you meet along the way as you're achieving those goals. Well said. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations again to each of our honorees and thank you for your commitment to Girl Scouting and serving as role models for our girls.